Hey, James. So, high car broke down, huh? No. <laughs> yeah, right. We're just uh, testing the capabilities as an RV. Yeah, high car definitely broke down. Zach has an engine tear down under control, but it might take a while. What are we gonna do? How about we take some cars and some cameras and get up to speed on the Nissan Z? So this is everything you need to know to get up to speed on the Nissan Z while we drive on. No way, no way, no way! In October of 1969, the 240Z arrived in America, known in Japan as the Fair Lady Z. The American version had a 2.4 liter inline six, giving it a robust 151 hertz perps. It could go from zero to 60 in just under eight seconds and cost around 3,600 bucks. I would love to find a 240Z for 3,600 bucks. Jumping to more current times, in 2001, an announcement was made. The return of the Z to America. Nissan debuted a bright orange Z concept car, the Nissan 350Z. It was released to wide acclaim the very next year. While the 350Z was good, Nissan knew they could do better. Debuting in 2008, the Nissan 370Z was almost a complete redesign from the 350. The engine swapped out to the huge 3.7 liter V6. It was also still affordable and looked amazing. Lucky for us and all the Z Series fans, Nissan didn't stop there. In 2023, the new Nissan Z arrived, the newest in their line of modern sports cars, this time with 400 hearse purrs. The new Z uses the same platform as the 370Z. Now it's got a 3-liter twin-turbocharged V6 engine. Now I kind of wish I'd gotten the Roadster. Z432, baby. Can't beat a classic. My Z is the mightiest Z. This is great, but I still miss high car. Congratulations, you are now officially up to speed on the Nissan Z.